Do you want to be a life coach? In this video, I'm going to be going into the depths of sharing with you on how to start a life coaching business from the scratch. Hi, my name is Siddharth Rajshekar and I've been in the coaching space and I've worked with people like Robert Kiyosaki, Tony Robbins, T. Harv Ecker and many other global brand names even like Brian Tracy and Dr. John D. Martini uh, on a digital level. I've actually helped uh, promote some of their campaigns around the world and I've studied coaches and trainers for many years. And being a digital coach myself, I have brought it down to a formula. And in this video, if you're somebody who is actually searching to know more about life coaching, I'm going to be covering the following topics. First, we will get into what is life coaching. Two is what does a life coach really do? Number three is I'm going to share with you the what skills you need to become a life coach. Number four is the benefits of life coaching. Number five is how much do life coaches make? I'm going to share some numbers with you. I've done some research on this. Number six is how to get clients as a life coach. Number seven, how to become a digital coach. And finally, number eight, what will be your next step? Okay, so if you are excited to learn about this, grab your notepads, pens and papers, and let's dive straight in to point number one. And I'm gonna be opening it up one by one, okay? So, what is a life coach? You know, a life coach is somebody who helps others get more clarity in their life and helps them move forward in their life. Now, life coaches can be of various different kinds of, uh, you know, categories. You have life coaches who are uh, more oriented towards, you know, helping people achieve things on the personal front. You have coaches who are good on the business front. Some of them are focused on, on the health front. So irrespective of what may be the case, a life coach is usually somebody who's looking at a holistic view at solving uh, a pe person's problem and helping them move faster in their life. Okay. So now let's jump into understanding what does a life coach really do? Okay. And especially for some of you who don't know, if you're already a life coach, you know this, but just to re-clarify this. Okay. So the first thing is the, the life coach actually identifies what are the problems that the person is facing. Second step is to clarify whether, uh, I mean, why they need to focus on. And number three is the life coach helps the person set goals, creates an action plan for them, encourages, encourages them to follow through an action plan. They analyze and evoke new strategies. They become an accountability partner for the for the client and ultimately helps the client get results. In essence, this is the the, the formula of life coaching. And life coaching, like I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, is holistic. It is about you know catering to all the different areas of life, you know, whether it's health, wealth, uh, relationships, and primarily it's more on relationships and you know, relationship with oneself, relationship with others as well as a, a spiritual angle as well. Okay, so that's why a life coach, the word terminology life coach is used for somebody who can provide a holistic, uh, you know, solution for a person. Now for that to happen, you need to understand uh, what are the qualities. Let's go to the next, next segment over here, which is what skills do you need to become a life coach? And maybe um, life coaching is maybe not for everyone. So, Let's look at the mind map over here, where I did, I put together some points over here. So there are six elements which are very critical to be a life coach. Okay. The first one is a life coach need to be really active at listening, you know, active listening skills need to be good because you need to be present, listening to people, understanding and reading between the words that people say. Okay. Number two is a, a life coach needs to have great eye contact especially when they are when the other person is looking at them and they need to really uh, be again it's to do with presence number three is facial expressions that indicate that you are present or focused number four is the right body language because body language is everything you know it's like if you see the different types of communication i don't know they, they say the verbal communication is is very minimal but the remaining non-verbal communication plays a huge role in um, in how other people send what they feel about you. So having the right body language, understanding body language, the power of silence. Okay. Silence is golden as they say, right? So sometimes a life coach, just it's not about just jumping in and giving the problem. I mean, giving the solution to the problem, but just absorbing and, and just being silent and letting, letting things land. Okay. That's very important. And number six is the right questioning skills. So what kind of questions that, uh, you know, Questions are the answers. I mean, there's a book also by Alan Peace where he talks about that. The right questions will lead you to the right answers. 
So, and you know, stupid questions will take you to stupid answers, you know, so you got to be, uh, it's a skill. It's a skill that can be nurtured. In fact, if you go and look up on resources online, there are many uh, good resources that you can find on uh, on the top questions that life life coaches can ask, okay? So in essence, a life coach, a coach needs to have these skills to be able to deliver the result, what we have mentioned above. So to actually help the clients get results. So the next segment is I want to jump into the benefits of becoming a life coach. So before I jump into it, I know that some of you here watching this video may already be a life coach and maybe you're looking for a way on how you can enhance that. And I have a segment coming at towards the end on how you can multiply your results and things like that. But if you're starting off from the scratch, let me tell you something that life coaching is one of the most, uh, what do you say, fulfilling professions to be in if you are somebody who cares for a lot of people, who cares for humanity, you want to help people grow and it's in your DNA, you know, if, there, if service is there in your DNA, service to humanity is there in your DNA, being a life coach is amazing. But on the other side, there are many people who call themselves life coaches. That's, it's become a, you know, if, like if I throw a stone on the road, it's going to fall on a, some coach, okay? So everybody calls them coaches. But the, the, the point what I'm trying to make here is, even though this is a great profession, there are many people who don't, have not uh, positioned themselves in the right way, which brings the right kind of a, uh, what do you say, impression on this industry as well, okay? So the impressions can be, ah, he's just a life coach. But you know what? Seriously, a life coach can be a life transformer if positioned the right way and if done the right way, okay? So coming, coming to this, uh, the benefits of becoming a life coach are these. So one is you, if this is in your flow, you will love your profession. There are very few people who actually love what they do. And you will start loving this because you're in the game. Your work is to actually help people transform. And that's that's a great place to be. Second is uh, by you listening to other people's uh, you know situations in life, it will help you be more grounded and more human and not be judgmental. And that's one of the biggest qualities of a life coach is not being judgmental because all of us go through issues. All of us have problems in our life. Every human being goes through different situations in their life. And by being a life coach, you're going to be there to hear them out and, and understand what it is and, and then give them the right steps to come out of it. So this will also help you stay more grounded yourself. Okay. Number three is, yeah, you're going to help people solve their problems. You're going to give people breakthroughs in their life. You'll be respected in your community as you're building a, a whole community of you know students and stuff. It'll be extreme. The other benefit is life coaching can be extremely lucrative if if you position yourself properly, which is what I want to cover in the next step. Okay, I'm going to talk about the five levels of of an expert. So if you position yourself as the life coach expert, you know you you can. It's very very lucrative. Okay, and finally you can have more freedom in your life if you plan your day, week, and month properly. Because sometimes I know even life coaches they overbook themselves and they need to you know recoup themselves because of all the back-to-back one-to-one sessions that they're doing so sometimes you, you you need to really plan your your day and plan your day week and month so that you have that buffer time for you to recoup for you to come back and also work so that way the, you also get freedom freedom is a choice i always say that and you have to make that decision for yourself okay the next segment is i'm going to talk about how much uh, money do life coaches make so before I jump into this segment, I want to tell you that there are various gradations or different categories. Okay. There are different types of life, life coaches. Uh, I'm just going to give you like a basic framework over here, but the price point is, is depends on, on your target market and the value that you provide and the value that you believe that you're giving for somebody. So for example, uh, you know, a celebrity life coach may charge you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars for, for just a, a small consultation. For example, if you have to sit with, with, with Warren Buffett for a, for a dinner, it's I think it's a million dollars or something like that. Okay. Because of the value that he is in right? the value that he has created in this world and how much he values himself. So the price point is usually determined by how much do you value yourself? Because if you know for sure that you can deliver a result and if you value yourself, you will charge that much to others. But if you don't really feel that, you know, you can do it or if you under underplay yourself or if you feel it's, it's all in your own mind. See, price point is just in, in your own mind. And of course the target market, whether they can afford it or not. So if you're targeting, you know, sports professionals, uh, celebrity professionals, then you can, you can definitely charge more. But if you're targeting a different segment, if, uh, say students 
who don't have much uh, to you know they may not have as much money as say the business owners so again you have to be very careful on on which segment you pick for life coaching and the price point will be based on that so now let's come to understand the different gradations i've just brought this into three categories here so if you're a beginner life coach how much you would make uh, if you're a professional or if you're a superstar life coach okay now if you're a beginner just starting off you could make anywhere from five thousand dollars to even twenty thousand dollars per year so this is like if you're a life coach who's uh, just started off you've just got some certification done icf you know whatever and from there you are able to you go through the process to get clients this is the basic level if you're just starting off and in indian rupee terms if you're in india anywhere from three lakh rupees to 15 lakh rupees per annum could be your income potential as a life coach okay level 2 would be the professionals those who have been seasoned in the game for some time maybe 3 4 years of experience worked with at least uh, 50 60 clients and you've got some credibility uh, and testimonials and stuff you could be moving up from 20000 to even 200000 dollars per year okay so 20000 dollars like is something in the range of 15 lakhs you know up to 1.5 crores per annum i know a few life coaches who are able to you know make this much who are the professional level life coaches and who have uh, proven track record and stuff then you have the superstars or the celebrity life coaches like guys like tony robbins and you know you have uh, people who coach uh, like the big names all the celebrities in the world uh, they would definitely they will be charging over 100000 dollars minimum per client okay again it can even it can even go into the millions if you actually think about it so we're looking at over 72 to 72 70 lakhs to a crore per client depending on who you're actually targeting and to become at the celebrity level uh you should have you know done a lot of work you should have done uh, provided a like breakthroughs you should be you should have developed your own formulas which are like proven and uh, a, a strong track record okay a strong track record with working with celebrity names is what makes you a celebrity coach tony robbins was uh, mentored by jim ron okay and jim ron was the one of the biggest mentors of his time you know for many many people in the personal development space so then tony robbins he started to work with you know big names uh, andre agassi princess diana bill clinton uh, and all the you know presidents of countries and stuff and that really brought his level up to the whole different uh, you know price point okay so and, and he 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 does magic with people and you know that's what a life coach will evolve into eventually once you're once you're perfecting your art and crafting that art you would definitely move up to this level okay so this is just some i'd like i mentioned this is just a framework it's not set in stone and the value is determined by how much you value yourself now let's talk about how to get clients as a life coach how do you get clients once you start your life coaching business let's say you want to do this you want to like do this like full time and this is your mission for the rest of your life now before i jump into this segment i want to be very clear that just being a coach is not good enough you have to be a good marketer because you need to market yourself i know i know many life coaches who are great at what they do but they don't like marketing they don't like selling so their income level is capped off to a very low level they're not able to expand and and move to the next level themselves on a financial level so i want you to keep in mind that even though uh life coaching is a very nurturing kind of a you know what do you say profession you also need to wear the hat at times where you need to be good at selling because selling is a form of service according to me okay selling is a form of service because if you are able to sell well and able to solve a problem for somebody else you're actually doing a service and when they give you money and if you're comfortable asking for money you can make millions okay you can make a lot of money okay so coming back to the mind map over here is to get clients as a life coach uh the process is a is a very simple process which i learned from dr ivan meisner okay so he's the founder of bni and he's a part of you know many uh, leadership uh, you know councils and stuff like that so he talks about the process called the vcp process visibility credibility profitability okay even bni operates on the same principle So if you want to be a successful life coach first step is you need to be visible and you have to go in this sequence okay you cannot directly expect profitability to come right from day one so first you need to get more visible once you're visible in terms uh, you know once people know you 
And the second piece is credibility. That means once you get a lot of testimonials, recommendations, word of mouth starts to pass around and people say, hey, this guy's really good, okay? This, this woman is really good, you need to work with her. Then that establishes the credibility and then the profitability will follow from there. So in essence, you can do three things. One is you can start speaking in forums for free, okay? So you want to talk about some of the concepts of uh, how, you, uh, now how you can help people. Uh, start doing some free talks talking about the mind, talking about success, talking about achievement, whatever may be your topic. The second one is you can join offline networking groups like BNI, Rotary, Lions, you have so many different forums that once you are a part of networks, then, uh, and once you're more in touch with people, you would know what problems that they're going through if people are open to, open to you, open to sharing that with you. And that's a very good test for you, you know, because the best way to get clients is if somebody actually comes to you and say, hey, can you please help me? And for you to be at that level where people are ask, actually asking you for help, you should have networked with them. You should have built that kind of trust and credibility. It's not as simple as just selling. That's one part of it. But when they come to you, when you become a magnetic personality yourself, then that's the best way. Okay. And of course, number three is digital marketing and becoming an influencer online, which is what I'm going to talk, talk to you about. And that's how I've also built my influence, built my YouTube channel built my uh, digital coaching business where I don't do any one-to-ones. I do everything through systems, which I'll tell you in the next next uh, phase here. But that is that is the, the whole process over here, okay? Let me just uh, zoom out of this. So if you're, like, if you're uh, getting it till this point, I would like you to just type in the comment box, whether you're watching this on my Facebook or on YouTube, that just type in the comment box, brilliant stuff. Okay, this is brilliant stuff what I'm sharing with you because I'm, I like to go deep. I like to share information with, with all clarity. And by the end of this, I'm also going to give you a mind map. This entire mind map, I'll give it to you as a download. Okay, the download will be there in the description below uh, and I'll show you how to get it, okay? Now, let's, let's come to number seven is how to become a digital coach. How do you really digitize your life coaching business? Now, just to show you a little bit of my track record in case uh, you're watching me, you don't know who I am and you don't know what kind of results that I've got. So I started off, uh, you know, setting up my digital agency over seven years back. So I've, we've been working with a lot of these big names like Jack Canfield, Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy, uh, T. Harvecker. We promoted many of their global events across the world. Okay, uh, and I've understood how the personal development you know industry works. Uh, I've also been a speaker myself. So I've, I've spoken at various stages uh, on the Success Resources Circuit, on Success Gyan Circuit in India, and I've done a lot of uh, coaching as well. Like after my agency, I set up my own digital product business, information product business. And whenever I would sell my products, I would do one-to-one -one coachings with people who get into my level two, like my second layer, layer of mentoring. And I've done over 350 one-to-one -one sessions. So I was, even though I teach people how to create online products, I believe that only when personal development is infused with business development would they get a result. So I've actually done a lot of life coaching work, if you ask me, okay? More than 350 people I've worked with on a one-to-one -one basis, given them a breakthrough within 30 minutes, uh, getting, getting to the root of the problem and giving them clarity in their game plan, what they have to do. And many of my students have achieved great success. M many of them are making, have achieved over a crore in, uh, in revenue sales as far as income is concerned. Many of them are making lakhs and lakhs of rupees uh, every single month. And you can go to my YouTube channel, look me up and see all my, I have, some, I have a playlist called the Hall of Fame. You can go and see all the interviews there. So why am I sharing this with you is uh, having been through the journey myself, I've brought it down to a formula. And I want to tell you that just doing one-to-one -one life coaching, there is, uh, there's going to be a limitation to you and your time. So I have been able to grow my community. I'm currently mentoring at this point when I'm recording this video, over 11,000 people in my coaching system. And the best part is I am not giving my physical time to any one of them. I'm using automated coaching systems using videos. But for me to come to this level, I have done all the hard work before this. So don't next, don't uh, quickly, I mean, don't think about jumping for the shortcut. Go through the process, okay? So now I'm gonna to explain to you uh, how to become a digital coach where the first concept I want to share with you are the five levels of an expert. Okay, the five levels of an expert. And for that, I want to jump into this particular uh, presentation file. Give me a second, I'll just jump into this. The evolution of an expert, okay. 
Now the evolution of an expert goes like this. The most basic level of an expert is a do it for you kind of a expert where if you want to provide a service to somebody else. The second type of an expert is you do it with them, do it with you. So even as a life coach, you could be doing it, but life coaching would come under level three, which is more of a one-to-one -one coaching where you are coaching somebody and they are doing the work. Better than level three is group coaching where you work with groups of people. So it's one to many, it is not one to one. Okay, so I've been through this entire journey. I've done services for others. I've done services with others. I've uh, done one to one coaching. And I even till this day, I do group coaching, but group coaching only for like my, my inner circle members. Okay, but the thing that really helped me scale up fast was building my own digital ecosystem. It's called the digital ecosystem model. So basically I wanted to think about Apple. Apple is a digital ecosystem. Okay, they just have, they have many multiple products, but once you get into their world, it's hard to get out of it. Okay, once you're using all their Apple products and everything is interl interlinked with each other. So I actually help people create their own digital products and uh, all of them are coaching products. They are not just information products, just coaching products. And when people watch those those videos and they're able to go through all my, you know, the steps over there, they're able to get breakthroughs and get results. So just to map this out on a profitability scale versus the dependence and independence scale, check this out, okay? Now, if you're going to do something for others, you're providing a service, then you're going to have, uh, your profitability is not going to be that good and your dependence is going to be very, very high, okay? Your dependence is going to be very high because it's your, you're trading your time for money and you're going to be in it. If you're going to be doing it with them, let's say you are, you are a web developer and then you offer, uh, you know, your web development services and you get the content from them and you do the technical implementation, whatever. I mean, if you're in that space of where you're doing it with your client, then it's better. The profitability may be a little bit more, but still the dependence is not too high. Okay. I mean, the dependence is, uh, is, is high. Then you have level three, one-to-one -one coaching. So pretty, pretty much life coaches, you can be very profitable, but it is dependent on you. Please note this down. Your dependence is there. If, if you don't do any coaching, then you don't have any money. So better than that is to do group coaching. So you'll have more money, more leverage, but still it is dependent on you. But the only model which is totally independent and highly profitable is a digital ecosystem model. Okay, and I'll tell you more about this when you register for my webinar. In my description, there's a link to my webinar. Come in there and I'll explain to you more in detail on how it works and how you can actually you know, implement this for yourself. So this is what I wanted to share with you as far as the first concept is concerned, which is you need to understand there are five levels of expertise and the ultimate level is to be a digital uh, coach. Even if it's a life coach, to move to the digital life coaching. and what I've done is I've built a four stage funnel. Okay, the four stage funnel is what I do is I first uh, get people to my webinars. Webinar is my lead magnet. From my webinars, then I sell a tripwire, a basic product. Okay, then from my basic product, I get them to an implementation product. And then my profit maximizer uh, is, is my high ticket uh, no product. Before I used to do coaching over the, you know, in this segment. But now in your case, your life coaching should come at this level. So just to reiterate, if you want to become a digital life coach, you need to do webinars, you need to sell two products before they even come to you for your life coaching. So you're able to filter out and work only with the cream. And that's what I teach even in my webinar when you register, okay? And finally, the third step is you need to start building digital assets. So right now, this video, what you're watching is one of my digital assets. And I've spent a lot of time to to plan for this uh, content because I know that this content is going to be useful and valuable for a very long period of time. And the more and more digital assets that I, that I build over a period of time, this is going to start getting me more qualified, uh, you know, customers into my funnel. So in essence, once you have built your, uh, once you understood the digital ecosystem model, once you built your four stage funnel, and then you start building digital assets on a continual basis and pop populate YouTube and Facebook and other of these platforms, people who are watching and who are following you and who are, and who'll actually, you know, want to work with you, they will start to come into your funnel through these videos. And that's how you are going to come into my funnel by through this one video that you would have seen. Okay. Very simple formula. Okay. So that's, this is what I actually teach more on a depth in depth inside my, uh, in my webinar, my coaching system. So, the logical thing is what is your next step? What should you do next? I hope you found this video useful because I've actually covered everything, you know, right from, you know, 
what is a life coach what is life coaching what does a life coach do what skills do you need to become a life coach what are the benefits of be- becoming a life coach how much do life coaches make how to get clients as a life coach how to become a digital life coach and finally now i'm going to tell you what's your next logical step your next logical step is to go to this link sids.co/freedom it will take you to my webinar uh, registration page please register yourself for the webinar and i want you to give your your name and uh, and email id this is the link you can see there's a link down here yeah so sids.co/freedom uh, get into my webinar and before you come to my web into my webinar there there'll be a pre orientation video that i want you to watch and i want you to also complete a survey you'll also get a survey so i want to work with only qualified people those who are really serious about implementing this knowledge and scaling their business really fast and i just want to mention at this point is it does not matter where you're coming from okay whether you are from the corporate world or whether you're a student whether you're just a homemaker and you want to get into life coaching whether you are somebody who just has the passion you're an entrepreneur and maybe you're not aligned and you want to get into life coaching and help a lot of people you know what does not matter your past does not matter your where you want to go is what matters and if you're open to learning within 90 days i can assure you that you can get up to speed and start attracting clients coming to you and you can start helping people okay so that's my promise to you once you get into the system you just need to be coachable yourself you need to be open and you need to be having the hunger to really make something for yourself okay so on that note if you found this video useful you know subscribe to my youtube channel if you are watching this on facebook just look me up and subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell button and the typical stuff that what people would say go and do all of that uh if you are watching this on youtube go to my facebook page and uh you know search for sadat raj shekar and like my facebook page and follow me over there because i keep posting different stuff in different platforms so you can stay connected with me stay connected with me on instagram as well i'm there on instagram uh i think yeah just search for sadat raj shekar you'll find me okay so looking forward to serving you and helping you grow in your life coaching business cheers god bless and please please share this video to somebody that you may know who wants to become a life coach too bye bye